In this web tutorial, we'll briefly discuss the ways you can utilize a class list and the different types of class listing available in Argo Express. To find your class list, you'll select the Faculty Advisor tab, and you'll need to select the appropriate term. Since as many as three terms might be active in a given time, it's critical you choose the appropriate term so you find accurate course information. Once you've selected your term, you should select your course registration number. The course number will give you an option to choose any of the courses for a class you are an assigned instructor. You don't need to be the primary instructor to be able to view class information. Once you've selected your course, you have a variety of options for how you can look at your class list. At the summary class list, you get a basic breakdown of who's in your class. You see the student's name, their ID, what their registration status is, so whether they've been registered or if they've withdrawn, how many credits they're enrolled in in the event the course is a variable credit class, and any grades that may be web enabled and entered for that student. If it's a time when midterms or final grades are available, you can simply select on the grade to go back to the grading screen to make changes or entries for a given student. This makes it really nice if a student's completed a test or a missing document that you want to go ahead and update their midterm grades so they can see that. It can simply be done at this location. Anytime you see a student name, you can also select that to view more information on the student. In this case, we can select the student and see their campus address and their mailing address um, to simply see the information about them. If you go back to the summary screen, you can also use the option to email the entire class. If you're not enabled to an Outlook desktop that will populate if you scroll over the email class list, you can look down in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and it will populate the email addresses for you. So you could simply do a cut and paste if the automatic pop-up feature does not work for you. From the summary list, you can also see additional course information. If you choose on the CRN, you'll see specifics about the course and specifics about the students in the course. The detailed class list gives you more in-depth information about the students. You notice we were just at this location than the previous screen by following the various links. You can see the students major and level when they start at the institution, um, what campus they are, if they're a campus student or a distance student, what class standing they are, and a variety of different information. You also have hyperlinks out here that you can select on um, to email the student directly in the event you need to get some information to them. You also have a faculty detail schedule, which will show you all the courses you're scheduled to list in a given semester. You can use this to add information that's very helpful for students, such as a syllabus for the course. You can cut and paste data. It's not necessarily neat based on the institution syllabus format, but you could put some general information out here for students. You can also return back to your class roster from here, and you can maintain your office hours. If you input data for your office hours, you can carry those on and copy to other courses you're an instructor for, and that will make the time much less for you to get that information out to students. Once you establish your office hours, any time a student is enrolled in your course, they can select on the hyperlink to your name, and that will indicate to them what your scheduled office hours are. There's also a week at a glance feature, which is very similar to the student's week at a glance, which will show you any given times you're scheduled to be the instructor of a course. So if you ever forget where you are or where you're supposed to be going, this works as an interactive calendar for you to help you plan your scheduling. And you can also go out to a future date to see where you might be in the event you need to schedule a future appointment with a student. That gives you a pretty good rundown of the various types of views and information you can get from your class list. If you need more student-specific information, you can go to the Student Information menu, and you can use the selection screen to search by name and find additional information on students, such as their schedule, what their week at a glance is to find out when they're in class and in what room and building in case you need to catch them for something. You can also see uh, some other information about the student that might be helpful to you.